Hey everybody, it's Kevin from 3D Printed Props. In today's video, we are going to be working on this just fantastically designed Raven model from the Team Titans. I just, I love how this model is put together. Now, the Teen Titans have always had a special place in my heart. I'm a huge comic book collector. I have tons and tons of uh, Teen Titans comics. When I was a kid, I actually used to go to the mall. My friend worked there. This is dating me. And uh, he worked at Camelot Music, and that really dates me. And I would drive up with him and just hang out for the day, and I would always go over to... <laughs> I'm seeing these words that you people won't understand, probably some of you. I would go to a store called B. Dalton's, which was a bookstore, a physical bookstore in the mall. And I would pick up, from a spinner rack, believe it or not, uh, a Teen Titans comic. I'd go over to, I can't remember what it was called, some Chinese place. I'd get some beef and broccoli and fried rice. I'd sit down and I would read my monthly Teen Titans book. And uh, it is a fond, fond memory. I swear, when I read a Teen Titans I smell beef and broccoli, and that is just, those two are just linked together. So this was a really, really fun model to work on, and I really, really enjoyed it. So I'm always looking for new models, new artists, uh, people that really do really nice design. And I found this model, this Raven model, over on Facebook, uh, the group, I'll have it in the description below. And uh, they usually have some pretty good artists on this site, on this uh, Facebook group. And I saw this Raven model and I knew I had to print it. I just love how this thing is designed. It was really, really easy to print and really fun to paint. So let's go ahead behind the fake wall and get painting. Okay, super happy with how this printed out. I printed it out on my Elegoo. I didn't really want to go super big with it. And I printed the version with the eyes closed. It comes with a couple different versions face-wise. You're probably wondering, what's that notch for? It's for the hair. And I really uh, like how that was designed. Now, this is the coolest part of this model, how the cape makes her look like she is suspended over the, the books and the floor. Totally love how that came out. Did need a little sanding, not too much in the back end area here, uh, just because it's going to be covered up, but I thought, why not? You also can see some divots that I will have to fill, and I usually use this epoxy sculpt. I love this stuff. Uh, it hardens uh, in a couple hours, and is sandable, and it's really cool. And I use these little tools, these little clay tools for it because you can really get in there. All the links for everything I use will be below. They are affiliate links. I did snap off one of her fingers, so I went ahead and built a new finger. So there she is, all sanded and filled with some different fillers that I like to use. And I'm using the artist's reference plus a couple other things. He did an amazing job with his rendering, so I thought, why not use his reference? So I'm picking out some paints, and if you like those racks, I'll have links to those. I've got them on uh, Thingiverse. And now we're gonna mix out some paints, and this is just on an old piece of glass. It's an actually an old bed. Uh, I have switched to a new system I'll be doing a video on soon. It's using a, a wet palette, and it is awesome. I love wet palettes, I will never go back. But this is what I was using for this. And I'm, of course, just putting down my base coat. And I'm finding little things that I sort of need to go back and tweak later on. And now I'm going to darken my purplish area up because you figure the inside of this cloak, uh, you know, is going to be more in shadow because it is the inner part of the cloak, her body, the, the, the way the lighting would fall. And then I'm actually going to go in and darken the ridges on the inside a little bit more because again they would have more shadow uh, and I'm just using a little bit of black and a little bit of pur darker purple to make that happen. So now it's time for some shoe painting as you can see my fingers are getting totally painted up here but what are you going to do the pieces are very very tiny and again I'm just covering everything in this purple bluish color before I go through and add a lot of the detail. So here is the hair, and I'm going to make this that sort of black to purple. So I'm starting off with a, a darker purple here, and I'm going to wet blend. So what that means is now I pretty much have just black, and I'm going with the black up there, and I'm wet blending it into the purple. So it's pretty much black on top, and then I'll pick up some purple now and I will blend that in on the model. So instead of blending it on my palette, I'm actually blending it on the model itself. And I really like how that turned out for this because uh, I think the hair is a really important 
part of this that really gives the model life. And now I'm doing almost like a dry brushing where I'm putting very little paint on there. Sorry, that's not in focus. And I am adding some of the purple towards the bottoms. And again, I'm really dry brushing this and doing it sort of sideways to really hit the angles. Now I'm just putting in some of the filler color uh, for the skin. Uh, she is very light skinned, so I'm using a lot of light colors. And then I am using lighter colors to get some shape to it. Same thing with the boots here. To get that sense of depth, you want to add a darker color to the shadows, as you can see. And then where the light would hit in the upper parts of the folds, I'm adding a lighter bluish purple to really sort of make them pop off. Light against shadow is how you get that you know, that separation. You can see here in the folds, again, I'm hitting the upper parts of these folds with a lighter color, and that is making them stand out. And I'm going to do the same thing with her arms. I'm going ahead and adding uh, that lighter bluish purple to those to really get that shape and form. Now, if you're unsure how to do this type of thing, um, there are a number of amazing modeling painters out there that I've been watching. Now, I used to color comic books for quite a while, uh, but it is totally different when you're doing it on a 3D shape to create that, um, that type of a look than it is when you're doing it on a, a sort of a 2D page for a comic book. But uh, the idea is there, so I've kind of I have a little bit of a jump ahead, but but uh, it's still, when it's a 3D piece, it's a little, it's a little different. And uh, but I'm really enjoying learning how to do that. So again, as you can see, it really gives it more shape when you've got this highlight here where the muscle would be, where the light would be hitting. And I didn't want to go too, too realistic with this, just because I just I wanted it to be a little cartoony, but not. Um, not super sort of like cell shaded. So again, the light would be hitting here. The top part of the chest area would be brighter. So that's a little bit of a lighter color. And then what I'll do is underneath the chest, you can see here, I put a darker color in. So you can see it sort of gives it that separation. And here I am using a really tiny, tiny brush with uh, some red paint to put in all these details. And I will do it for these. Now, some of the little or tiny ones, I'm not going to be able to do on screen because I just wouldn't be able to. Because when I paint little things like that, I'm using these. I love these things. Link below for these. I use these things all the time for fine stuff. And now it's glue time. We're going to add some glue. Dry fit first, and then add some glue to really pop these things on here. And there we go. Now it's base time. And this was a nice base. I like when bases are, again, well-designed, but uh, simple, but still have some detail. And you can see all the detail in this wood. And we're going to add uh, some different paints to this to really, really draw it out. So I went with an overall sort of burnt umber, and now I'm going through with uh, some darker browns to sort of fill in that space. And I might go back with something a little bit darker. I haven't decided yet. Uh, how worn I want this to look. Now, I'm adding some darker tones in here because her body's here, and that would be more shadowed. So I'm adding some darker browns and a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple in there to darken that area up. But uh, I like this base. It's simple, uh, but I think with these extra little bit of details, you get that sort of wood grain look to it. Now we're going to do the books and some blackish browns and then getting in there with a tiny brush and with a cream color to do the pages. I didn't want to go with straight white. We're going to glue the hands on, glue her body to the cape and make sure that's pushed in there really well. And I, again, I can't say it enough. I dig how that thing stands up. Now I'm adding uh, a, a liberal amount of glue, which is what I usually do, and pushing this thing into place and making sure it fits well. Now here's her face. I didn't show you how I did, th did this because I need to have be holding it and getting in close. And I'm really not set up for that yet. I'm, I'm working on that and hopefully in the future I'll be able to. And there is her hair on here. Again, I love how the hair turned out. Let's pop that head on and see how she looks. And there we go. Super happy with how she looks. And I did notice I forgot to paint the back of her hair, so I popped it off and fixed that. And you can see now that it's all together how putting those lights and darks next to each other where they should be really gives this model a ton of separation and makes it pop. So I just love this model. I love the design of it. Her floating like that, the expression, the books. 
such a great model. And if you want to pick this model up yourself, you can go to the link below to this Facebook group and to his webpage. I cannot pronounce his name. I'm not going to butcher it. You can find it there, pick it up. You will uh, give him the money via PayPal and then he will send you the file. Uh, he has got good standing with the group that I've also included below to Facebook and uh, he has had a lot of files out to people and there have been no complaints. Again, beautiful model. I love this. It's one of my favorite ones. I'm going to be looking forward to seeing what he does in the future. And again, if you want to see future videos, please go ahead and click like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. And this way you will know when they come out. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. I really appreciate it. Take it easy and have a good day.